exciting, we can't start anywhere else in the Kookaburra range than other than with the Kahuna. Created in collaboration with Ricky Ponting millions of years ago, probably older than you and I this one Neil, it's, uh, it's the usual green as they say. Wonderful, I think we've got a new grip to talk about as well, I don't think I've seen that one before. So we better get a few technical specifications as well. Oh, Joss Butler's using this one at the moment. He's a bit useful. Right, now a few technical specs. Let's have a look. Um, as you say, Rich, been around 21 years now. So you know it's a tried and tested profile, bat. Performance wise, you probably know it's a safe option. Um, very typical in the Kookaburra range. Reasonably high spine in the back of the bat. Lots of wood out towards the edges giving you a really good hitting zone. Um, so if you're striking it slightly off centre, you've got quite a bit of wood behind the ball either way. Um, and still quite a, a bit of wood in the toe. Yeah. Um, slightly thinner than some of some bats you'll see. But overall, it's a classic profile. It's a classic bat. Um, you can't go too wrong. In terms of the grip, I think you mentioned earlier, yeah, snake grip. This now, year. Have we seen that before or have we not? We've, I'm not sure. I think we've seen that before. Yeah. It's in the classic white grip that goes well with the Kahuna. Yeah. I think it's always been white grips, green stickers, which makes it stand out. And over this amount of time, um, most people have seen a, seen a Kahuna somewhere around the teams they've played against. Yeah. Um, weight range for this. Um, standard bat, going to come in somewhere between £2.8 ounces to £2.11. So, we, the majority of bats we sell are always going to be in that weight range uh, and again it comes in a variety of different willows from your pro, uh, your pro willow at the top end uh, and then they'll go through different grades of willow down. Yeah. What we should do is, is give it a little tap. Have a little tap. Cool. See, uh, Here's one we prepared earlier. Cool. Let's dive into this one. And it over. So I'm looking at a, a, a real sweet spot. Mid, I'd say it's mid, 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 to, mid to slightly lower, if anything, would okay, you say? Cool. I was going to say. I think middle's there. Yeah. Mid to slightly lower, but uh, there's not much in it. Um, it's going to suit a multitude of different players playing off the front foot, back foot. Um, good quality all round bat, I would say. Um, the, the variations we should talk about. Oh yes, go on then. So, alongside the standard Kookaburra range, uh, the standard Kahuna range, yeah. we also have two different versions. For those big players who want to get out there and hit some big shots and score some big runs and clear the ropes, we have the big version. We've got a warning, be careful. Warning, you might need big muscles for this one. Or it doesn't allow you to hit it miles. I don't know, one of the two. So, main differences between the big range and standard range, it's gonna be the same profile, yeah. but clearly there's a lot more wood in this bat uh, than the standard version. Um, hence why the big version, you're gonna be looking at weights of two pound 12 and above. Yeah. So you got do little, need some big muscles for that. Got little flecks of, of the darker green here compare, in comparison on the sticker range, but yeah, other than that. It's the big red warning sign that, it is. that well, tells you you've got a big back coming out. I think that'll put me off. Probably put me off too. Um, however, going to the other extreme, there's yeah. also a light version. Oh, now this so, feels different. Well, Describe that feeling. Go on, I imagine then. it's only one thing. Oh no! Well, it is. Oh yes, it is lighter, but also there's a funkiness to the handle, which you may have, may or may or not, may not notice here. So it's a lot slimmer in that handle. Um, the other thing we ought to do is do a double check on the the lengths of the blades. So the blade is the same length, and let's see our handle, which say is slightly longer to compensate. So there you go. We've shown you that. Okay, so, so what we're saying, just the light bat, yeah. slightly shorter blade, 
hence we can take a few ounces out of the bat. So this weight range for the light is gonna come in between two pound six and two pound eight ounces. I think this is a great concept for, for bat manufacturers to bridge the gap for young cricketers going from their first, uh, well, from a Harrow bat into their first adult bat. This is the perfect sort of weight range. Um, all that time you've, where you've been developing your technique, you're not going to ruin it by going with a bat that's too big and too heavy. Yeah. Um, that's a bit tough to go first straight into first up. It is straight into, um, however, that's going to come in a weight range, as we said, 268, a lot lighter, picks yeah. up really well but you're still getting a good piece of willow for it. It is, isn't it? We've also got the light and we've got a bit of white with the light. So if we compare that with our standard, um, our standard and our regular fella, we've got that a little bit of light on the side, suggesting lightweight power profile. So, so here, we go. Let's, here we go then. Sticking with the standard version, Rich. Yeah. Would this be, uh, this be one for you. I quite like this. It's really well balanced. It's really, you know, there's a reason why it's been around for 21 years. Um, you can't go too wrong. For me, I think it's got a great pickup. Uh, plenty of wood in the edges. Uh, mid to low sweet spot for me, which I think would be good. So, for me, I know you're in the game. Aren't you? Well, I don't think you can go wrong with the Kuma. Oh, but it doesn't mean you're right. It's a good, safe option. It is a safe one. But is that an exciting decision? You don't have to be exciting, do you? Yeah. Just gonna work. I like a kahuna because it's got good balance and I would use a kahuna. So I'm a straightforward, I know I'm already gonna say yes to this. Mm. For me it's, I like we'd say to everybody, please go into a shop if you can, do lots of tapping, find the bat that's for you. But yes, I would use a kahuna. So I'm a, I'm a yes, but I might be a yes on others in this as well. Oh heck, indecisive. So there we go. The kahuna. The kahuna. Mm.